Hello everybody, welcome to this week's video where I'm just going to show some of my kits that I have right now that are going to be upcoming in the channel and also a bigger package that I received today that I am quite excited about. So let's get this started. The first kit I'm going to show you is this little guy. It is the... SD Gundam's Cross Silhouette Zaku 2. Um, he was a fun little build. As you can see, he's he's one of the earlier ones I did, so he's a little bit messy and all that. That will get fixed later. I just wanted to put him together because he looked fun, and he really was. Um, I'm actually going to look for more of these Cross Silhouette SD Gundams because he was really fun. He was a quick build. He was interesting, and I just love the way he looks. The next kit was in the last video, so we'll go quickly over that. That was the RX-78-2 Gundam, the HGUC. I believe this is version 2. Here he is. Again, he's just kind of slapdash together. These are mostly practice kits for the most part, but... I guess every kit is a practice kit, I suppose. But there he is. He turned out pretty good. I actually really like him. His articulation is good. And he was a fun little kit, too. The next one has seen the most work on him, I suppose, is the HGAC Leo from Gundam Wing. Here he is. I built a little stand out of the runners just to try it out to see how that worked. Worked pretty good. I did not make him tall enough. But he has been a test bed for all kinds of stuff. I was doing seam lines and sanding and polishing and dull coats and all kinds of stuff. So he's a bit of a mess and he's actually going to be tested on more. And the only reason he's going to get tested on even more is because he was a fairly cheap kit. And... Well, I do like the Leo. I have nothing against the Leo or anything. He has just become that tester for me. And so he's going to change significantly probably over the weekend and next week. He was a fun kid also. I want to get more of those actually. I would love to have more. The next kit is the HGUC goof custom from 8th ms team i did show this in the last video as well so we will we'll kind of gloss over this i found this one very excited to do this one as i am a fan of 8th ms team um, i actually have started this one so he's coming right along taking my time with this one being real meticulous with it as that's just how i'm putting him together the next one was also seen in the old video the moon gundam i have not opened this one yet I've heard great things about this one being one of the better HG kits. So we will see how that goes. I'm looking very much forward to putting him together. He's got all kinds of stuff. And he even includes a stand, which is cool. So I am excited for him. The Here's a kit I'm also excited for. You may see a theme here. Um, it's another Zaku 2. It's the Red Comet version from the Origin series. So this is a fairly new kit, 2019, I believe. This kit, I'm hoping, is fun. I know nothing really about this kit. I just saw it, and I really like a lot of the Origin-designed mobile suits uh, from that series. So I ended up picking him up, and I'm pretty excited to do this one. Hope he turns out well. He should be a lot of fun. Like I said, most of, if not all of these kits, you will see later on the channel. I'm just showing my current backlog and what I have laying around. Now, the last kit that I actually have on hand is the kit that started this whole mess. I found this kit at a GameStop, actually. And it's been sitting there for months and months and months, and I've been putting it off, putting it off. Well, I finally took the plunge because I could not take it anymore. And this was supposed to be my only kit. Well, as you can see, the rabbit hole opened and I'm far down it. But this is the kit. Let me go ahead and move the camera here. I'm going to have to take it off the stand. 
this is the kit that started it all for me. Uh, it's the Zaku 2 FZ RE100 uh, from War in the Pocket. I saw this one and just had to have it. I didn't know much about it. All I knew is it was a Zaku 2 FZ and I needed to get it. So after months of stalling, months of stalling, I finally ended up getting it. One day I just couldn't take it anymore and walked in and grabbed it. Luckily it was still there. And here we are. I have started this one. Unfortunately, I started this one whenever I didn't have any tools because, like I said, I thought this was going to be the only kit I was going to get. And so, I did end up breaking a piece, um, his little visor, because I was using just a pair of dikes. I know, I'm very professional. I was using a pair of dikes to do his... to, to cut the pieces. So, his little visor's cracked here. It'll focus for me. You can see his visor cracked. I do have a replacement visor coming, so that will get fixed. But once I cracked that, I decided to stop, go get a couple of practice kits, which ended up being like the Leo. The Leo is the one I got for main practice for sure. And started with him first, and then got some actual legitimate tools. But that is my current collection of kits that are in the backlog and quote unquote completed kits. This thing will focus for me. Completed kits that I have, but these are all going to change wildly. But that's the stack of them. Thank you for watching. Currently stripping the dull coat and the panel lines off of the Leo. I think I'm going to do the SD Sharzaku next. I might leave the RX-78 alone for a little bit as I just put him together, but I can easily see myself changing my mind pretty quickly about that and stripping him too. So all I'm using here is simple green. It seems to be taking off the dull coat just fine and with a toothbrush and this it's just a nylon brush, I believe, from Harbor Freight. It's getting in the nooks and crannies pretty well, and the panel liner is coming out actually not bad. Um, it seems, seems to be working thus far. I'm going to let these soak for a little while longer as I've been a little bit impatient. They've only soaked for probably about a half hour. Of course, the longer they soak, the easier they'll be. But there really isn't that much dull coat or panel line on there, so it is working. I'm just having to scrub more. So I'm going to let these soak, scrub them up, and then wash them. I will probably end up priming the thing today so I can be ready for paint testing tomorrow. So the main thing I wanted to show in this video beyond the kits is this. It just showed up today, like literally 30 seconds ago. So I'll get this opened up real quick and we can take a look what it comes with. And then I'm gonna mess around with this because I am quite excited. So within that box was another box. And here's what I got. It was a Viva Home airbrush compressor and it did have the tank, that's why I got this one. It does have an airbrush with it that I'm going to be using the practice on. I think grand total this was $119, which I felt was a pretty decent price with the tank and an airbrush to get me started. So let's see what's in there. So here's what it came with. It came with the compressor, the regulator, the moisture trap, a braided hose, which feels pretty nice. Uh, here's the airbrush. I'll look at that in a minute a instruction manual and some Teflon tape. 